Uh, I'm Anaran Coffey. I'm the producer of Sydney New Year's Eve. You can call me Nye. And I'm here with Fortunato Foti, the fireworks director for Sydney New Year's Eve. Hi, Fortch. Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, my name is Fortunato, and uh, Nye, you can call me Fortunato. Everyone else can call me Fortch. So, Fortch, uh, the stage for the show tonight is uh, seven kilometres long. We're using four barges. Uh, down here at the Opera House, we've got uh, a barge directly in front of us, uh, just off uh, Fort Denison. Um, to our right, uh, down towards Clark Island, there's another barge out towards the out towards the heads. And then looking through the bridge to the west, there's a uh, another barge next to... Uh, Goat Island. Goat Island, and then... Uh, I thought I'd help you out there. Yeah, thanks for that, Forge. And That's then right. another one down uh, near Cockatoo Island, which uh, from the Opera House you're really only seeing uh, the high-level stuff um, for that barge. So, no, no there's an interesting uh, start to this show, and it's uh, we call the Ghost of Shells. Now, these shells sort of... These are brand new shells, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're brand yeah. new shells. They sort of come on, come off, and uh, they gradually grow from one side to the other. So they Here sort of appear... As you can oh, see. Oh, yes, I can see they appear, start one side of the sphere and cut across in different colours. That looks amazing. Yeah, and now we've gone into uh, sort of a, a, a blue with uh, midnight snow, which is like, uh, how can you describe it? It's like a um, willow type effect, if you can imagine the willow of a tree. So lots of branches streaming down, and now we're into some nice uh, large uh, shells. Yeah, these That's ones there, they're called uh, aerial palm shells uh, they're, they're with a palm centre. So you've got a red firework and then uh, the palm in the middle of it, and uh, they change colour. And now we've gone into uh, other shells that uh, have uh, different coloured centres. So we have uh, magenta and you know, on the outside and peach on the inside, and now we've changed from blue on the outside to red on the inside. And we've got a bit of a uh, palm coming off the barges as well, uh, some uh, ground effects down there. Yeah, it all sort of adds to uh, the different layers that we try and create uh, within the fireworks. We've now gone into a, a nice yellow strobe, which sort of fits to the music. It's Absolutely, very soft. yeah. And then moving into some uh, blue, uh, what are these ones, Forge? I don't know, I think you're telling a really good story at the moment, nice. so I think just let you describe it. But they've gone from blue to magenta anyway. <laughs> Absolutely, palm shells. They're looking great. Uh, what's it uh, like uh, when you're programming? Is it about hitting the feel of the music or hitting the beats or a mixture of the two? Uh, I'm trying to do a mixture of both. Uh, some, sometimes it calls to hit the actual beat of the music. The other one, sort of, you're creating the mood with the fireworks with the music. So it really could be on a word. Um, or it could be on, on the way the, the music flows. So for the instance, just then we had a, uh, a key change and the uh, change in the fireworks, dramatic change, we're now into some large uh, orange shells uh, over the harbour. And now they've just changed again because the music's changed and it's gone into a, uh, a like a lime. Which is, is, you know, that's what we're trying to do is create a, the different effects. And now we've gone into the same thing but in magenta colour. So there, there's various colours that we do and we try and change into. And with the drop now, we've just gone into some very uh, kind of a bit more sedate fireworks, uh, if there's such a thing. Uh, yeah, look, these ones here, they're, they're sort of the go from a glittering white to a, a red to a blue. And uh, they have like a strobing centre of the various different colours in the middle of it as well. So they call uh, fireworks in Japan um, anabi. Did you know that, uh, Noi? I did know that. What does that mean? I don't know, but uh, if I had to have a guess, I'd say it probably means uh, flowers of fire. Uh, does that sound pretty convincing? That sounds pretty convincing, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty convincing myself. Absolutely. So now we've had another change and we've got uh, more of those uh, kind of willow effects. Uh, yeah, will it, <coughs> the gold willow, gold silvery willow with uh, a strobing centre. They're and quite spectacular effects because you get the middle um, strobing and then beautiful tails coming down through the sky. And now we've moved to full horse tails. So. Yeah, these ones here. If you can imagine the, the, ta the tail of a horse, but in the sky. Absolutely. And they hang in the sky for a very long time. So, so now we've brought in some uh, purple uh, strobing shells and uh, to complement those. Yeah, as you can see, there was a sort of a key change and a different change in the music, so we we changed the uh, the style of fireworks that we used for that. Uh, again, trying to complement the uh, the music with the fireworks. 
Yeah, here's my cheesy moment with the uh, sad face, but it's actually smiling. Absolutely. We don't call you Forch, we call you Mr. Cheese. That's the one. Um, I, I think it's quite uh, quite funny. And now we're back into some ghost shells. So these are the ones that sort of appear from one side and sort of gradually cross over to the other side. And what are these ones, Forch? These look uh, like... These are, uh, these are butterflies yeah, with uh, green They with look green a lot eyes. like butterflies. These ones here are octopus with... Uh, blue helmets on by the looks of it. Yeah. I hadn't seen that one before myself. <laughs> confused me. So we're now back into to the palms. So as you can see, they've got uh, tails that act as like the trunk, and then they uh, burst into a palm shape with, uh, and they're different colours. So we've gone from red to blue now to, to green. Now to green. So uh, again, we're we're changing the fireworks with the key changes or with the the different type of music that's been presented. Absolutely. And moving into golds and uh, more of the uh, water level fireworks down there uh, off the barges to complement. So how high um, are these uh, fireworks uh, going there? Uh yeah, look, the, the, the fireworks uh, vary in size. They, they vary from 75 millimetres, which weigh about 250 grams, up oh, to... Oh, uh, beautiful uh, of those octopus shells, were they there? Or, yeah, no? these, we've got these ones we call the octopus Angelic. with yeah. the octopus with uh, moving tentacles. Fantastic. Tentacles is the word. Tentacles. Right? Tentacles. Um, yeah, so they, they go up to a height up, up to 350 metres uh, from... 70 metres to 350 metres. So there is a big height difference. That's how we create the different layers. That, yeah, uh, and we that use. layering effect man, allows you to fill the sky. Too. Yeah, is it hot in this room? No. It is hot in this room. Absolutely. Do you, do you think the listeners really care whether we're hot in this room? No, I think they I probably think so don't. Either. So now we've gone to a, like a gold willow uh, that changes colour at the ends. Uh, they change from gold willow to green, uh, to gold willow to blue, gold willow to silver. So again, <clears throat> we have the same type of fireworks, but a, a, a variation of the firework. Again, Absolutely. Again, changing which... with the, uh, the mood of the music. Absolutely, and it gives a little bit of uh, that point of difference across uh, there. Yeah, they, uh, a lot of people when in, in the industry, they, they might call it sort of colour blocking, so to speak, mm. where they use the same type of firework uh, for a period of time, but uh, change the, the way that or the different effect of that same firework. Change the colour or change the actual individual effects. I have yeah. no idea what I just said, no, but uh, I think I'm sure it sounded okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so, so now we're back into the the, the the orange with the palm centers, and with the change in music, we've uh, changed shells again, and uh, we've got some beautiful orange centers with uh, quite a willow effect around them. Yeah, we call these midnight snow with pistols. Oh, um, there you go. Yeah, it's one of those unique effects that uh, they, they are long-lasting, but uh, they're very pretty, as if they're sort of appearing and growing as yeah. they uh, burst open. Now I've got uh, some big uh, green shells up there, which are uh, doing uh, more of a stroby effect there. Yeah, and from there we're going into what we call a brocade. Now, a brocade is what uh, we class as like a gold-silver willow. And uh, there's a, very a lot of classical fi- fireworks. Yeah, yeah long workouts. duration. Yeah. And uh, uh, as you can see, it's grown and grown and grown. And uh, now that the music's changed, we've gone into something different. It's like a red strobe. So it's a red blinking firework that uh, flickers on and off. And now we're into the finale. As you know, Noi, in uh, the finale, we like to uh, use a bit of excess of fireworks Absolutely. to make it uh, nothing, big. Nothing yeah. succeeds like excess. That's it. And uh, they say the more the merrier, and in this case, the more the merrier is correct. Absolutely. So the sky's absolutely full of fireworks at the moment uh, on all levels, from the uh, lower level uh, fireworks that you were talking to right up to the 300, 350 metres. And that's where that right. layering effect comes into play. Absolutely. It's um, almost a visual overload. And there you go. That's it. All done by the shouting. Very well done. Forge. That Thanks, was mate. an amazing show, and oh. uh, I hope the people around Sydney Harbour enjoyed it as well. Yeah, well, I'm happy they'll enjoy that and move and wait for the uh, midnight fireworks, which should be great. Absolutely. We'll be back here uh, again in a, a few hours and uh, give another uh, spiel for uh, midnight. Thanks, Roy. Thanks, Forge.